Hi guys, so I don't really even know where to start. So I guess I'll just get right to the point. I'm moving and this is my new house. Okay, we get situated here. Um, all right, so I got a new camera so I can kind of talk to you more vlog style. Um, let me make sure it's All right, oh, this is so awkward. I've agonized over how to even talk about this, you know, for such a long time. Um, because it's like, how do you tell a bunch of strangers on the internet your most personal story? Yeah, I don't even know how to start this video. So I'm just gonna dive right in. And I'm moving to a new home. My husband Chris and I are separating. We've actually been separated for quite a long time, but we've been cohabitating. And we made the decision to stay quarantined together this past year just to make life easier on ourselves and on our children while they did digital learning and while we navigated surviving a pandemic, you know. Um, but it's time to move on to the next chapter of our lives. I am usually very private about my relationship status situation. And um, the only reason I'm even talking about it now, there are a couple reasons. Number one, I'm really terrible at pretending things are fine when they're not, and they're not right now, obviously. Um, they will be. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. It's just a process, and we're all healing, and we all have to adjust to such a big life change. So there's that, but I'm also bringing it up because I'm moving, and my content centers around my home, so um, it's unavoidable that you all will notice the changes happening. So. Um, I try to be as real and open with you all as I possibly can, both here and on Instagram and on my blog. But, um, you know, I also, there's a fine line between being open with you and um, protecting Chris's privacy and my children's privacy and respecting them. And so I do have to be careful what I share and how much I share and all of that. So I'm not going to go into detail. It's not necessary anyway. Um, I have nothing negative to say about Chris. Not that I would say it here even if I did, obviously, but you know what I mean. Um, he's a wonderful man. I have nothing but respect for him. He's a great father, a great friend, and I wish him nothing but happiness. I really appreciate you all respecting our privacy through this. I appreciate all of your support and, you know, watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and supporting my work. It really does mean more than you could possibly know. So thank you for that. Um, so I will be creating a lot of content over at the new house. I can't afford to keep this house all by myself. So I'm renting a town home nearby. It's only six minutes away, which is great. I'll have the kids half the time. Um, I'm going to show you the new house here in just a minute. I'll give you a tour, a sort of a before tour. Um, it will be changing a lot um, in the next few weeks as I move in and transform all of the rooms and all of that. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. So stay tuned for that and let me show you around. Let's go see it. Okay, so I'm at my new place. Um, I'm going to give you a little tour and I'm going to do it vlog style. So please excuse the shakiness and just the general you know, unprofessional <laughs> camera work. And I don't know how this is gonna end up being chopped up and edited because I'm filming this on two separate days. You're gonna notice separate outfits if I end up using that footage. I just felt like that one was way too shaky and sort of nausea inducing. So I'm gonna try this again. So let's go, we'll start at the front door. Here we go. So this is the front entryway. I have a lot of plans. For this space. All right, so this is a little half bathroom, and it's really hard to film because it's very narrow and small, but you get the idea. Flip on the lights. So, get it to focus. This is the family room. Flip on the light here. And then this is the dining area, and the kitchen. Over here is a little walk-in pantry and the laundry room, which leads out to the garage, which will be my workshop. All right, let's head upstairs. Start in the master bedroom. The lighting is terrible, by the way, today, guys, so just <laughs> excuse that. Um, this room is actually a really good size. It's always hard to tell scale 
on video, but it's, it's a good size. So I'm gonna have my office back there. And let's take a look at the master bathroom. All right. And the closet is back here. I've already brought a few things over, like shoes, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but here's the bathroom. All right, we'll head to the other bedrooms. Out here, there's a little linen closet there. Let's try and flip this tight on too. There we go. And over here is the boys' bathroom. I can find the light. <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna do a lot of painting before I move in, as much as I can anyway, and then I'll paint the rest as time goes on. This is Aiden's room. Back here. And there's a really nice size closet in this space too. The ceilings are nice and high. On to the next room. This will be Jake and Jonah's room. Closet over there. And that's pretty much all there is to see. It's a small place, but it's perfect for us for what we need it for. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, you can find me online at erinspain.com and on social media at Spain blog. I spend a lot of time over on Instagram, especially Instagram stories, so I would love to connect with you over there. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also check out some of my other videos while you're here. Okay, this camera, all right. Oh, bumped into the wall. Okay, well, almost tripped. <laughs> um, while they did digital, digital. Okay, no. All right. Okay, guys. Wait, no. <clears throat> Here's to a new beginning and a new chapter of my life.